degrees of freedom will be something like we're going to be have the motion with respect to x y z axis so here you can imagine we're going to have the x so that will be something like positive and then we're going to be have the y that will be positive and then z that will be positive if you consider positive as well as a negative so we're going to be have the translation 6 degrees of freedom similar to that we have the rotation so along the x axis positive clockwise anti clockwise along the y axis clockwise anti clockwise along the z axis clockwise anti clockwise so again we're going to be have 6 degrees of freedom so total degrees of freedom available is 12 if you are considering positive negative clockwise anti clockwise so some people might have known a 6 degrees of freedom that will be only positive translation they are studied so with respect to 6 sorry 3 and then the rotation only clockwise 3 so that will be conclude 6 degrees of freedom so 60 degrees of freedom so here you can find so both are same it might be the 6 or 12 they are same okay, so here you can find so degrees of freedom is used to just make sure in which direction we are restricting the part locating the part so we have support locating and holding the part okay so these are nothing but the three things we going to do with the part so this part we need to position locate in axis system okay so for that definitely we going to be have this x y z translation clockwise anti clockwise as well as a rotation stick to that is also known as a six point principle it will be something like three point at a bottom two over here one over here so what exactly we going to be have 12 degrees of freedom it is nothing but with the x y z translation and rotations so if we just add three point from the bottom so 5 degrees of freedom will be get restricted if you add the two points somewhere here so 3 degrees of freedom will be get restricted and if you add one point over here so with respect to that you can imagine this part is not going inside so 1 degrees of freedom so after 12 the 9 degrees of freedom will be get restricted why we require the 3 to 1 principle 3 to 1 principle is required for supporting holding and locating the part okay so these are nothing but the major important things we going to be have for locating holding and supporting this particular part so you can check like you might have done the exercise with respect to that you can hang the frame on somewhere onto the onto the wall okay so we can check like we can apply the 3 to 1 principle for this particular part we can check like how many minimum point we required to place this frame against the wall okay so here we going to be have the x y as well as z so minimum 3 point required with respect to 3 to 1 principle we are going so minimum 3 point is required to rest the frame against the wall so for that reason you can imagine something like this we going to be have the frame so minimum 3 point we required on this particular x z plane okay so in x z plane against this y axis we can say we required three points so this is we can say three points will be in y direction okay so with respect to that we have seen 5 degrees of freedom will be get restricted so we chart that 5 degrees of freedom part will be not to move in minus y as well as it will not going to be rotated along this axis okay as well as along this axis it will be get not rotated okay so that is something like 1 2 3 4 and this is 5 so total 5 degrees of freedom will be get restricted now if you you are observe carefully what are we going to be of the slot on this particular behind the frame is nothing but the keyhole okay kind of this will be the keyhole slots we going to be have behind the frame so you can check any component any component in a world any two component in a world is going to be get assembled so that definitely going to be follow 3 to 1 principle 
that definitely going to be follow 3 to 1 principle. So here we can check for this two parts. So one will be something like this frame and second we are going to be considering something like this wall. Okay, so these are nothing but the two components we are considering and they're going to be get assembled. So we need to have a 3 to 1 principle to make sure the part will be positioned, located properly at desired location or the position. Okay, so for that reason, we're going to be have this key slot. So what is going to be done this key slot? So here we're going to be have screw. Okay, so here you can find something like this screw will be there. And with respect to that again, screw head we can say rather than screw. So it will be something like screw head. Then we're going to be have the screw somewhere here, cross section area where we have the threads. Okay, something like this, we can have the thread. So this is threaded portion we have. Okay, so this is something like the screw head. So what will be happen now, we need to drill the hole. So we need to drill a hole something like this to this. Okay, so with respect to this two, we need to add hole okay and with respect to that what we are getting so we're getting something like the hole need to be get accurate perfect with deal with respect to that we can position so now three we have seen how we can apply the three somewhere like in y direction okay out of three to one so what will be the two now okay so two will be something like so what this screw is going to be work so this screw will work like frame will not go down so that will they make sure as well as they'll make sure the frame will not be moved in this direction so right now we have positive x as well as negative x okay so these are something like the two things we're going to be have with respect to that so you can find so here we're going to be have the minus x as well as positive x so this two direction is also get locked with respect to this surfaces. Okay, so here we're going to have this surface. They're not going to be allow the part to move in negative x as well as positive x. Okay, and this will take care. Your part will not be moved in z. Okay, so that will be take care with respect to this top flange surface. Okay, so these are like we need to check what will be the two and what will be the one in this case. So two will be something like x in this direction x1. So same we have x1. So again this we call as x2. This we call as x2. So same in positive x and negative x what are the faces we have. So that face is going to be work like x1 x2. Then Z is something like here we're going to be have the top face that's called as Z1. So this top place is called as a Z1 and that these are nothing but the Z negative. Okay. So what are the three we have? So three will be in Y direction, two we have, two will be in X direction and one will be in Z direction. Okay. So this is something like we're going to be a three to one. It's applicable so three point from here so considering this as one point this is a two point so this is something like the two point from here and the one point from the top okay so this is something like the three two one principle we can apply for this particular frame so this is a day-to-day -day life example you're going to be have with respect to that you can correlate three to one principle so any part any two part going to be get assembled they need to follow the three to one principle okay so considering this frame as an example, you're going to be have slot keyhole and with respect to that, it will make sure so there will be no variation into the this this direction as well as there should not be the variation in this direction. Okay, we'll make sure we'll fit the frame properly for that reason. They're giving a key slot. So assembly, we can have this bigger hole. So there will be a clearance and then we're going to be fix that position perfectly. Okay, so sometime you might have observed so this particular hole, this particular hole, we're going to be have something like this slot, okay? And in another hole, we're going to be have something like this ablong hole. Okay, so what is the purpose to have that ablong hole and this particular hole slot is whenever we're going to be have a kind of locator or pin, so that we're going to be restricted, okay? So here you can check what, what we're going to be have the clip or the position so it's something like we're going to be use the pin 
okay so that will be going to be rest in this particular area portion in that case you're going to be have the slot it might be the circular or it might be something like we're going to be have rectangular okay so suppose if you close if you if you close this bottom hole and if you remove the screw head okay if you remove the screw head and if you just keep that only threaded portion so what will be it act like it will be act like something like pin okay fitting onto the wall and on that wall we're going to be have that frame okay so on that wall you can find it will be the frame we're going to be have rested something like this okay so any three touching point we're going to be have in that direction will be three points okay so any three point we have seen something like this we can say the cross section of any three point we're going to be have that will be restrict the motion of the frame in that particular direction against the wall and these are the pin we're going to be have so that will make sure it will be hang the frame with respect to this and this oblong hole will make sure if any deviation any deviation we're going to be have with respect to, to center to center line any deviation we have in center to center line so that will be taken care by this particular oblong hole okay so this is something like in automotive plastic this condition is known as a four way locator and this condition is known as a two way locator okay so this is something like we came to be have a four way locator as well as two way locator is the condition okay four way it's something like it's going to be restrict two direction it's going to be restrict two direction but four faces okay so four resting faces will be there so that going to be so this will be one this will be two this will be three and this will be four faces going to be get restricted and direction is something like x as well as z for this two way we going to be have this direction is going to be get restricted that is a z and in another direction what are we going to be have x that is called as float okay float is something like in that direction it is allowed to move to make sure we can adopt any variation into the slot with respect to that hole or like what are we going to be have the pin okay so this is something like we have four way locator two way locator so with respect to the faces we're going to be restrict depending upon that it's going to be called four way or this is two way